Hey, welcome back to Iceborne. I hope you are having an awesome day. I just wanted to read up a little bit about Namiel because it's such a strange, odd monster that I'm still a bit confused about it. But it says an elder dragon coated in water and able to freely control lightning. A unique organ allows it to pump electricity into the pools of water it creates, causing massive bursts of steam. Merging water causes its coating to decrease and it becomes vulnerable when dry. Use bright moss and other slinger fire to remove any nearby sources of water. So that is really helpful because... Oh, hold up. I could have just went out with a fire longsword that I initially wanted to. Damn it. That's why you can never trust, um, like if it's a water monster, um, it's going to be weak to thunder or something, you know? It's not really that straightforward in this game compared to others. Um, but th th that, that slinger ammo thing might be really useful because um, by the time that, uh, you know, it's, it's ready for its ultimate attack, the entire arena is essentially just filled with water. So it's just complete madness. Um, either way, what we did was uh, just went out to find Savage Devil Joe and find Kushala, which uh, which was possible. It, it just took a few expeditions out into the Elder's Recess to find Kushala. Um, no investigation for it, but an optional quest is available. Uh, and there is this investigation for Savage Devil Joe. It is faint two times, but because we have the Vigor Wasp Revival, I'm hoping that it might be okay. 20 minutes though. Hold up. Is there something better? Because I don't know about 20 minutes. That's a capture. I think this might be a better first run in against him. Because I don't want to go there and, and try to fight him in, in 20 minutes. Um, these are both essentially the same, but, but that's the only difference. Hopefully we can fight both of them in this video, but it, it just depends really um, how this fight goes. I don't know what to expect. I put on the longsword because we were supposed to use it in the previous one, just didn't get around to it, uh, which in hindsight I sh should have actually used it. I'm not really sure what to go for here. It looks like from the picture and from what we've seen he's going to be doing a lot of dragon damage and what is our dragon resist minus five because he does his regular version does have a dragon attack so i'm i'm guessing it leans into that so let's do elemental resist i think this is going to be fun but it's going to be very interesting to see if it's going to be manageable because the regular devil Joe already gives me a lot of trouble but let's see hopefully we can we can we can do this get some good food going that's right uh sphinx has the namiel headpiece but we need to go and check out the actual armor i uh intentionally just did not look at it i just went over it when i was looking at other stuff so we could do it in the video and actually see what it's like okay okay that is really wicked that is not as wicked nowhere near as wicked <laughs> But this is really sick. Constitution and maximum might. Light resist, tool specialist, meh. Tool specialist, maximum might. Constitution, stamina surge, stamina surge, blight resist. Okay, so it's gonna maximize your. It's gonna max out your stamina surge, your blight resist, and your constitution, and give you a bit of maximum might. Continually attacking a monster activates free element. Okay and increases elemental damage. Okay, so that's interesting. So you can just slot in one and you'll have a max um, as long as you keep the pressure. Oh, okay, true element acceleration. So you don't even need to slot in that one if you've got in four pieces. That's interesting. I, I actually feel like making this just for, for the look alone. We'll see what hidden weapons we have. 
Um, yeah, that's really fascinating. <laughs> that's really cool. The the look of it is wicked. Let's accept this investigation and head out to Savage Devil Joe. I don't know how this is gonna go. Like I'm tempted to do this one, but 20 minutes. I mean, four gold. But let's keep it. Um, at least we'll have it in case we want to make some Savage Devil Joe stuff. Mm. Let's not use a ticket. <laughs> it's a bit risky to use a ticket. Um, you have your bigger wasp rod. I like that helmet on him. Looks so cool, elegant, and flowy. Yeah, bigger wasp. Let's do this. This is probably one of the most frightening monsters for me personally. So this is going to be really interesting. Um, are there any slinger ammo? Oh no. This is quite possibly the worst place to fight him too. Rotten Bale. Jesus! Hold on. I'm looking for Slinger. Yeah. Oh my god. Stupid bird is in the way. Yes. Let's tenderize something big like the body. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to even reach his head. I say that and I just immediately start with his head. Pick up some dragon pods. Shit. Oh my god. Nope, 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 nope. Let's get my dash shoes going. He flinches really easily at the head. Oh my god. Okay, so he does do a lot of dragon blight. What the hell was that? They didn't even connect. I... I am calling bullshit on that. I'm calling 100% bullshit on that. That did not connect. Me. 100% bullshit on that. And it kind of sucks. Because I was enjoying learning that fight a bit. And now at the back of my mind, I'm just going to be like, wow. One feint was just wasted on... Complete bullshit. That really sucks. Uh, I guess the game can't always be perfect. But that one was just... Such a letdown. Let's get back over there. We die one more time, we fail. How is that not a counter, too? 
That's weird. Should have slotted in some tremor results. We're probably gonna fail this because of that one um, bullshit thing. So when we do inevitably fail, I'm still gonna try, but when we do inevitably fail, I'll try to slot in some uh, tremor results. That really sucks. Hopefully it was just a one-time thing. Get more health going. I wonder why I couldn't do the thing. Get a tenderized going. Is it not enough space to fight him? Um, let's use this opportunity to heal real quick. Who is this? Oh, it's you. You guys have a turf war? Doesn't look like it. Damn, but he really put it down there. I was kinda hidden, he was looking around for me. <laughs> but he couldn't really see where I was. I mean if you two are gonna keep fighting, I'm not gonna complain. Please don't tell me half of that hit cleverness. <laughs> That'll suck. Oop, sleep. Don't pick up the stone, pick that up and give me back my dragon pod. Um, let's try to hit him over here. Hopefully it'll work. Yep. He flinches a lot though. Damn. 
he does flinch quite a lot so i think like keeping up the pressure is is uh, really worth it in this fight um let's get the hell out of here because they flew here is just <laughs> not allowing me to have a good time Let's get that. I do have red um, charge, so I should use it. Nice. As long as he's not targeting me, I'm good. I don't understand what happened there. Let's pop a now berry so we can get our fire damage back. Just a little bit extra damage is going to help. God, how do I get close to him while he's doing all of this? He's so big, but so hard to hit. That's bullshit, I call bullshit on that as well. So that's two bullshit things that happened during this one fight. He was definitely not far enough away to be able to not get hit by that. I was a bit too slow on my counter. You are back. Which is kind of a good thing because uh, it distracts him quite a bit. Oh right. Enraged. So I can't really do that. Oh my god. Ooh. Um, I'm guessing this is... No, stop turning my camera. I'm guessing this is... Yeah, Dragon Pods. Don't pick that up. Okay. The distancing sometimes on the on the long sword is really wonky, I have to say. Of the helm breaker. Because it very clearly hit him there. But he didn't do any damage. But wait, um, does Elder Seal even work on something that's not an Elder Dragon? So I think I'm wasting it by throwing the stuff at him. Yep. Either way, um, one of those feints was bullshit, so I only fainted once, honestly. But let's go back to the camp and, and do it again. Hopefully... Hopefully he won't do that again.
I don't mind it. I mean, not every game is perfect, but I mean, it just kind of sucks because I was enjoying the fight. <laughs> okay, investigation. Bad one. I think this, the camp we started at was a good one. We could go back to base and sort out some decorations and you know add some tremor resist. But let's see how this goes first. My dragon resist is really low, so having that at least ten is good. do this I think that's good um, let's get more of these because he is dangerous Okay, let's go. Sorry, I was a bit quiet there because I was hearing some weird sound, but I thought it was coming from my laptop, but I think it was just in the kitchen, somebody blending something. <laughs> so I was like, well, is my laptop turning into like a, like a jet engine or something? Is something happening? I'm always so afraid of that in summer. Um, and the reason why I have a laptop instead of a desktop um, is because of the rolling blackouts that happen in the country. Um, I think I mentioned it a few times before, but essentially you won't have electricity for you know, certain hours of the day. And we have these apps on, on our phone that kind of keeps the schedule of when that's going to happen and all of that. Um, so during that time, at least with a laptop, I can still do stuff, you know. Instead of getting a desktop with a whole generator and stuff. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. How is that fair? I'm sling ammo down here. I'm complaining a lot this episode, but like, like things are just like mildly inconveniencing me. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's get some stamina back. I don't want to just fall off immediately. Let's go to sleep. I wonder if I can just immediately hit him into the wall again. Let's try. Kind of missed the point that I wanted to hit him at. But we're gonna get him there soon anyway. Oh shit, this attack, this attack is really dangerous. That did no damage to him. That sucks. Got them out.
I would want the final attack to be on the part that is tenderized, right? For maximum damage. So I'll move to the head and then move back to it. That makes sense to me. I'll get rid of the poison in a second. Oh, are you just leaving? That's fun. Hopefully we can get some slinger armor on the way. It seems like you can just... As long as you... Get him down or whatever, you can just... Keep wall banging the monster. There's no like timer on it. Like there is for... Um, bounce. Stuff like that. Wow. Okay. I don't even use the armor, skin, and demon drug that I brought along. God damn Oh, we've got another, another sleep. That's excellent. I need to remember there's some scatter nuts up here. These guys better not try to put me to sleep too. Leg is fine. I'm happy with that. Any part that is easy to hit. Again. This is magnificent. I mean, what kind of luck is this? I think I think they 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 realized that they kind of bullshitted me earlier, so now they're making making up for it. I'm trying to hit the legs. I think this is the one fight where having other monsters come in is actually a good thing. What in the world is happening? I do not know. It's just chaos.
That's not fair. Like, why did I just fall down? <laughs> That's weird. Stop fighting him. Follow me. Um, first say it's here. This guy's going down. I think that 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 first run was a good kind of trial run. I know what he does now. Terrain ahead at home. How dare he? Yeah, there goes my red. That was my last shot to use it. Get out of that, Jesus. got saved there by the Vega Wasp. Oh my god. This is really intense. It, it does seem like he's doing uh, defense down above my health bar. Two absolute brutes. fight each other that went through his tail something is something is weird about the the, the hitboxes in the fight Scatter nuts are good for flinching. I was hoping to get a sliding attack, but I guess there's not much space there. It does get very aggressive. Nope. That has a much bigger range than it seems. Tail swipes are very dangerous. Shit. Oh, I thought he was going to do his beam.
out of the way. Please don't move away. Okay, that hit me as a grab, as a grab attack. So that's how it's supposed to work. In the first battle, for some reason, it did kind of just did its own thing. Um, dragon pods or scatter nut? I think I'll st stick with the scatter nut. Hopefully, we can get it in his face. That'll cause a flinch. Let's be as quick as possible so we can uh, hopefully get a red arm breaker before it runs out. I crafted quite a bit of dash juice and stuff uh, just at the melder using the steam tickets from the from the steamworks. Um, this is, I don't think there's anything else that we can really do with those tickets. Getting close to him is, is quite difficult. It's good that he's so weak to sleep though. It's really good. I kind of wasted my bombs at the beginning so I don't have anything else. I think the body is the best place to generalize since it's so big that you can't be hit it. That is so annoying. There we go. can still attack while he's like that. That's surprising. That must. I know that one must. So that's fair. Shit. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my god. Don't have any more doll berries, so no fire damage for a while. I think I'm handling this okay. I mean, really? Nothing? They're usually doll berries like everywhere. And now when I need them, there's just absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's surprising. This is a big pension ad. I wonder if that's a gold crown.
He just filled that entire area with dragons. Hey, you got a beam so I can get close to you. What? He's never done that before, is that new? Nope. So he, he also has a flinch counter. I thought I was safe then. You okay? Let's get that. So he angles that at you. He doesn't fire it straight like you would think he would. Shit, he's enraged. So he's almost dead, which is good. I'm surprised that I'm actually able to handle this because honestly, this is the monster that I've been fearing the entire time. We have uh, Falga Engineer to thank for a lot of this as well, because he's been helping us. We can we can do this loop all day, man. <laughs> The tail attack is tricky because you don't expect it. Um, down this way. Of course, we could always capture, but it is the first time I'm fighting him, and the first time should always be a kill. There's just so much going on in this fight. He just keeps lumping away and then trying to fight me again. It's so weird. God, I want the dragon pod. Can you stop? Like the one time that I'd actually want the pod and not the other thing is the time that it doesn't allow me. What the 
that so go. I, I don't understand this. This is the first monster that I've seen do this. Where instead of retreat back to a location, it's just retreating to the next location, fighting, next location, fighting. It's so weird. Maybe because it doesn't have a lair? Well, we got him. But I think it is because he doesn't have a lair. That's why he's been acting so weird. Ah, oh, okay. Um, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Awesome fight. Uh, first attempt was bullshit. I'm gonna put that out there. And I'm not gonna go back on that. It was actual bullshit. But that second uh, attempt seemed really good. And the flow of the fight is really cool, but wow, what a. What, it's, it's just like such an intimidating presence because of how massive he is. And all of his attacks like take up almost the entire arena. Um, let's go and see if we can fight Kushala real quick. I, I say real quick, but goddamn, the, the wind is going to be terrible. So we got two gems out of that. That's great. Um, Tremor is us. Uh, the, the, I'm trying to think, you know, when it comes to Kushala, you need the... the, the the dragon windproof, not the regular one. Um, I don't know if I should just slot in some of the regular Let's one anyway. Make for the old if I remember, um, Kushala is. Uh, uh, Charge Blade is good for Kushala. Let's just let's just do windproof anyway. That'll give us at least three. Which I think is okay. I mean it's better than it's better than nothing. Uh, let's see how it goes. I know I know that there's like different stages to the to the wind, so uh, Ancient forest north east camp. It's gonna be around there Yeah, they asked st uh, different stages to the wind. So hopefully this will at least help with um, you know the regular wind Even if it doesn't for the rest of it Let's save it like that. I think that's better. I do want to still keep this at 6 so we can always pick up more. Um, I don't think we need the, the armor skin and demon drug. And I think with this it'll be the final one. Uh, scavenger, defender. This temper, Bogan. We could try for the Moxie. Let's do Taylor. That way we can use our our mantles a bit more. That sounds good. Let's go. This is one I'm afraid of. Might actually change the Palico gear. Uh, 
um, flashes aren't gonna be so useful, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Because everything else isn't gonna be worthwhile, I don't think. Maybe the choral orchestra, but... Oh, you picked it up. Didn't make a sound, which is weird. I think I want red pits. Mr. Zap. Not me to hit that flash. Now the resistance is going to go up, and I needed to save those for when he's flying. Come on, jump at me. Yep. Okay, so you've got the, you've got some wind now. I'm not coming over there. Yeah, that's good. It's good that you realize that I'm not gonna come over there. I hit the, the left bumper to lock on, but I wasn't locked on, so it did nothing. <laughs> kind of on me there. Big wind cloud. What was that? That is so weird. I wasn't even close to that thing. Like all of the all, all of these weird things are happening this episode. Okay, that one was fair. get that going Let's get you tenderized <laughs> You're leaving. Not too bad. 
there's something going on in this episode, right? Because there's two bullshit things that happen this episode, and usually we will go like a hundred episodes without any bullshit happening. But two in one? That's interesting. Um, this helps with stamina, right? Yeah, it's like a dash juice lying on the ground. Mental is out. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Oh shit. Damn it. Thought I could get a little bit of damage before you could go down. Go up. At least he doesn't fly as much now. Um, let's go over here. That did nothing. Another one? There we go. No! <laughs> How dare you. Don't be mean to me. Oh, you poor, poor thing. I wonder if I need some tails because I remember the set being really good in conjunction with Tiosa but at the same time I don't want to do the same thing that I did for high rank which was uh, like Kushala plus Tiosa stuff oh, wrong button You are enraged, so I can't really do the slinger thing. I should have actually done it when I had the option earlier. Where are you going? You gonna jump? You're gonna leave. Okay. 
Um, I'm actually really happy about what they did, what they did to this fight in master rank because it doesn't fly as much as in higher rank. So they removed a lot of the flying, um, and it and it seems like it generally comes down to the ground a lot more often. I like that a lot because I was I was really scared about the flying in conjunction with the flash pods not really having much effect in master rank anymore. But I guess they fix that. They like kind of cancel each other out by um, not making him fly as much. But yeah, uh, when it comes to sets, I don't want to just go for the Tiostra plus Kushala uh, combo like I did in High Rank because we we already did that, you know. Want to do something a bit different. Wow. Oh, what I should do. Oh wow, that actually worked. I thought I might have made a mistake. Because I was supposed to put the, the other parts here. So let's get that charged up. thing. Oh. oh. Is that wind? No. Oh, that was actually lucky because I don't think I was going to be able to get that, uh, this shot off. Damn. Bump it to one of these trees or something? Yeah, you can. Come on. Um... Here. Or first that, and then here. Okay, you need to stop with all of that now. Come over here where you don't have any win. Very good. Thing. 
can't really get too close to it though. Of course, because of that, that dragon wind. I do think this is going fairly well compared to what I thought it was going, what I thought was going to happen. Back, back here with wind. God, there's just so much of it. Oh, my stamina is not looking good. My sharpness isn't either. I thought I'd try if <laughs> um, <laughs> hitting a flash while it's trying to leave. Um, does something. Where are you going? Up there, that's weird. This fight is fun. This fight is really fun. Um, but I think I'm comparing um, high rank tempered to this, not the regular one. So maybe the tempered one in master rank is um, just painful, but I guess we'll see. Well, the paralysis didn't really do much. Okay, it did. That's good. You, you, mother. Whoa, that's a cool trap. Not that it'll work, but I wonder what that does. So those are the moments where where you you just look at the game and like 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 what what the hell is this? Oh my god! I'm I'm, I'm stuck. Okay, yes, go down and then come all the way back up. Oh, just stay down there, I guess. Oh yeah, he's blind. That's why he's doing all of this weird shit. Okay, um, let's do this. What an odd place to fight though. That's weird. Thought I blocked that. Got it. I'm trying to get a mount for a while now. But of course. No dice. Get that. Okay, 
Again with your win. Stop screaming. Come on. I do have my mantles, so let's just pop one of those. Dragon pods would be good. He kind of just blocked my way here. So I might have to just wait until he his wind goes away. Kind of a waste of a mantle. Can I go around? I can. He has a lot of health for some reason. It's weird how a right swipe can hit you on the left. And it doesn't even connect. Dude, can I just move a little bit, please? Get that off, Mega Potion. Not only really hitting the weakened part, and his damn wings of steel. Kind of a waste of a sleep there. Can I get a little bit of damage? Ah, uh, was it like, like 11 damage? But he's almost dead. If he goes to sleep, I have my. Um, dragon pods that I can just shove into his face. I think that's all that's around here. When he goes to sleep, I think he goes up here. So let's do that. Kind of steals Rathalos's nest. Yeah, he is coming up this way. Unless he's going back to that area, which I doubt. I think he's gonna come up here. Yep. So let's ignore that. And we'll wait for him here because here they is. I want him to not realize we are uh, we are around so that he can just go to sleep. Away 
from here. Let's put that on. Because I also want to do this. The tail is really hard to hit. I just wanted it to... The, the head was just too far away to get to at, at that other point, so... Good. Wow. Just got caught in a bad situation there. It was bound to happen. That's the one thing about the rock steady mantle. Very easy to die. I don't know what happened to that one that gives us more carbs. Let's just do that. Mm -hmm. There was one that has a skill that, that gives you more carbs and um, I think it's the unpredictable plateau which means that it's probably like a rotation kind of thing. Because with an elder dragon, of course, you get four calves. So, I mean, like, pumping that up to five would be kind of nice. Are you serious? so odd because there's the slope here but it doesn't seem like I can get a, a sliding attack from it because I was trying yeah it doesn't count as a slope for some reason Damn, please don't crash. Jesus. What the hell was that? Hold up. Um, nope, nope, nope. Something is going on with the audio. I'm gonna pause and see what's going on. I think that might have fix fixed it, but Jesus, um, I'm gonna have to probably edit this video to hopefully not destroy your ears because goddamn, I don't know what the hell that was. Honestly. Um, I would I would apologize for it, but I don't know how I'm gonna edit it. So you might not even hear anything wrong there. You might just hear absolutely nothing. I'll, pro I'll probably mute it or turn the the volume down really low. What the hell, man? I'm I'm still thinking. Oh God. Now I'm all distracted and shit. Damn it. What a weird thing to happen. Okay. Let's just go and murder this guy.
That was really odd. That was really odd. It's like all of the audio kind of... I mean, that is just unfair. The fact that he can just do that while you aren't capable of doing anything... Now, where the hell is he going? They just like kind of ruined everything. Let's go down here because he might be going back to his uh, initial arena. Mm, this way. What the hell? Where is it taking me? I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Showing plus 100 and he's not really moving, so what is this? Now it's showing that he's just below, so... shooting him. Oh, this guy. This guy was shooting him. I mean, that was so weird. The the, the audio just crapping off. I don't know what that was. Because I've mentioned before that there was this weird thing that happens sometimes where there's a stuttering and it's in a few videos. It's happened, I think, twice. Two or three times in previous videos where everything will just like kind of stutter for a second. Um, but this time, that has now evolved to uh, destroying the audio. And what I had to do was just select a different audio output and then put it back onto this one. And it kind of fixed it. That's so weird. But either way, that's Kushala. Um, I, I really enjoy um, the fight here in Master Rank because it doesn't seem as bad but it could be that I'm just um, um, equating it to the tempered version of High Rank so I think until we actually fight the tempered version of, of him here in Master Rank I don't think we can say for sure whether the, the fight is better or worse Boomba cage. I want to see what that uh, trap does, the the, the red one, because that that's a unique looking trap. And make for the old Either way, I think at this point, I mean, okay, let's just go and have a look at what the master rank gear is before we close out, because in the next mm. one, we're going after the old ever worm, and I'm excited for that. Let's see, Kushala. Ooh, they look they both look really badass this reminds me of like um set or anubis i guess more anubis but really cool ice attack evade window handicraft at three you see what i mean it's just so good like i wanted to combine the the, the black veil val with the tiastra this time and make that badass looking set which is, I think, a good combination. But I mean, it's so tempting when you have something like Handicraft 3 and Evade Window 3. 
uh, that I don't really care about. And then we can swap these two out depending on which um, which set bonus we want. The Tiasa technique here, or the uh, negating of all wind pressure here. But I think I'm gonna go with what I wanted to do, which is this, this, this. that more for just the looks and to have both of the set bonuses active at once we'll have Val Solvain and uh, Tiasa um, but we still need to get we have the crystal we still need to get a Legiana mantle there and, a, and an Odogara mantle there and we can make a full Valkana set as well which I think would be badass and then we can make like a nice weapon I think that'll be cool because it looks so cool Either way, um, oh yeah, the Savage Devil Joe as well. It should be a bit more up. Interesting, very brutish. Part Breaker Handicraft, that's awesome. Speed Eating Handicraft, that's also awesome. Stamina Thief Part Breaker. I mean, this is like a really good set and this does raise the maximum level of the Stamina Thief skill. Exhaust Power plus 60%. Damn. So I wonder if I use that with um, with this switch axe, which has exhaust files, and you just dominate every single monster. I, I know it won't work so well for elder dragons, but like other monsters, you might just be able to just absolutely dominate them by just constantly exhausting them. Maybe that sounds interesting. Either way, though. What we're gonna do for the next one, we are going to speak to the field team leader and head out because they created this whole spiral kind of thing and we're gonna go after the old Everworm and I'm guessing that is the final battle of the story. I'm really excited for it so stick around for that. Thank you so much for joining. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you then for the final battle. Bye for now.